President Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, has been hospitalized with COVID after a week of multiple public meetings pressing the president's false claims about the election. Cecilia Vega has the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to you. So the campaign won't say exactly when Giuliani tested positive, but what we're seeing this morning is legislature, state legislatures scrambling to keep their members home, even having to close their chambers altogether because so many people came into contact with Giuliani during his travels last week, and he was not seen wearing a mask during any of those appearances. As for the former mayor, he is in the high-risk category for this virus, but he tweeted that he is now feeling well. This morning, Rudy Giuliani remains in a Washington hospital. The 76-year-old former New York City mayor and President Trump's lawyer diagnosed with the coronavirus, saying he's feeling good, recovering quickly, and keeping up with everything. President Trump broke the news, tweeting, Get better soon, Rudy. We will carry on. On Sunday morning, he was on Fox News once again, leading the president's efforts to overturn the election results. Do you believe that you still have a path to victory? Oh, we do. But it's unclear exactly when Giuliani tested positive. The Trump campaign would only say he was negative before he traveled around the country last week in his attempt to challenge Joe Biden's win. Giuliani meeting indoors with state lawmakers, never seen wearing a mask during any of the public appearances. From Arizona on Monday, where the legislature will now not meet this week due to Giuliani's contact with members, to Michigan on Wednesday, where he asked a woman sitting near him to remove her mask. I don't want you to do this if you feel uncomfortable, but would you be comfortable taking your mask off so that people could hear you more clearly? Can, can you hear me now? Can everyone hear it clearly? We can hear it. We can, we can hear you. Okay. okay. And after he was face to face with Georgia lawmakers on Thursday, those in the hearing room have since been asked to work from home until they receive negative COVID test results. I saw some looks on people's faces, even with their mask on. Giuliani has repeatedly been in contact with people who tested positive, including the president, during preparations for his debate against Biden. Giuliani's own son tested positive last month, a day after attending that widely panned news conference at Republican headquarters. And just like President Trump, Giuliani has questioned the seriousness of the coronavirus and the efficacy of masks, which by all accounts helps stop the spread of this deadly disease. Now, Giuliani's legal partner says that the campaign will continue their challenges and that Giuliani's absence from the legal team will not affect their efforts going forward. We're talking about their efforts, to be clear here, uh, to overturn the results of the 2020 election. And, George, so far, the campaign and its allies have lost 38 cases in courts across the country. And the states have certified Joe Biden's win, totaling 279 electoral votes. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.